One, two, three, one, two, three. Guitar lesson this week. We're going to work on the classic old hymn, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing, in the key of D. This is a beautiful old melody, and again, it's one of those ones where the melody is so great, you don't really have to add a lot to it. You know, you don't have to add a lot of licks to spice it up. Just playing the melody with great tone and timing is all you need. For this lesson, we're going to work on learning the melody in multiple octaves. So we're going to start playing the melody down the neck, and then for the second solo, we're going to work on playing those same notes another octave up, which is really, really good practice, because once you know the melody in multiple octaves, one, it'll help you improve your fretboard knowledge, but two, you can combine the version. So maybe I start playing the, you know, the melody down the neck, and then I play the second half up the neck, or vice versa. It gives you a lot of freedom and a lot of flexibility once you know the melody in multiple octaves. So I'm going to break down both solos note for note, and then show you a bunch of easy backup I would do for this song. The chords kind of change quick in this song, and I'll break down, you know, some strumming patterns and how I play the backup for this song. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, MikeHeadingMusic.com, and grab the full-length lesson. You'll get access to watch all the videos, and you can download the tabs and the practice tracks. All right, here's Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing in the Key of D. All right, let's start breaking down this lesson for Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. We're going to be playing in the key of D. We're just an open D without a capo. So let's start breaking down the intro to the song, and then I'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna do our little walk down to start. That's just our intro. It's basically the ending melody line of the verse part. So we're gonna harmonize this time with a lower note. So our melody's actually up starting on the third string, fourth fret, and then second fret on the third string and then 4-2 open on the D string. That's the melody in the simplest form. So we're just harmonizing it with a lower note. Basically kind of this F chord up two frets, it's like a G. So I'm using my third finger and second finger on, on five and four, fifth fret on the D string, and then fourth fret on the G string. And then I'm sliding my third finger down to the fourth fret and I'm letting my first finger take over and that's basically a D. So we're going from this G to this D, and then walking down third finger, second fret, open. So not too hard. Remember we're in three, four, so we're counting to three beats. One, two, three, one, two, three. And the count is one, two, three, and one. So. practice on harmonizing with the lower note but making sure you're hearing that higher melody so you really want to play through both those strings you know if you're only hitting the lower of the two it'll work but remember the melody in this case is the higher of the two strings and then we're gonna hit the open D string and that's gonna be a half note so two beats so one two and then we're gonna walk down four, two, open again. And that's gonna start the verse melody, okay? So another little tip I would say for this lesson is we're gonna use a lot of our first finger and third finger. So our first finger is basically gonna be covering all the, the second frets on these strings. Our third finger is gonna be covering the fourth fret on the middle string. So 
Something you could even practice is just doing like four, two, open, and then walking back up. And what we want to practice there is when we go to a higher note, I'm not lifting this finger up. You know, keep that one down. Because then I can go right back to it. And you can practice moving to the G string as well. So what I would do first is just get comfortable kind of playing with your first and third finger. And that, that might be a little bit of a stretch for you. But I think if you get close to the frets, you'll be okay. I mean, you could use your pinky if you absolutely had to, but... I would try your third finger, okay? So remember, we walk that down. And then we're going to let this note ring for two beats. And if you're having trouble with that, you could play it twice. Play it as quarter notes to get the timing. But but I think you can, you'll can you get that with some practice. So one, two. And then we're going to walk down four, two, open again. And the other thing I'd recommend is following the pick direction. So we're doing down strokes on all the, the down beats, up strokes on all the up beats. So we're doing down, 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 up, down. That'll help you play the timing. One, two, three, and. And the pick direction is below the tab. The staple looking symbols are down strokes. The V looking symbols are up strokes. So I'd follow that closely on this lesson. It'll help you play the timing. walk down again and that's actually going to start the song so the song doesn't actually start till measure three and this intro is optional so I like adding the intro but again you could you could start it just at the end of measure two as well with the walk down and then we're going to play this is measure three open D string twice and then fourth fret on the D and then second fret on the G string with an upstroke so it's that same timing, one, two, three, and. We're gonna use that timing a lot in this song, so. And that's why it's so important to kind of keep this shape, so we're walking down. You know, resist the urge when you walk down to shift way back here, because then you're gonna have to shift way back up. If you keep your third finger hovering over that fourth fret, Position. Then we're going to move down your quick move your first finger down to the second fret of the D string and play that note twice And then fourth fret on the G or D string excuse me D string and then second fret So it's that same line we just changed the first notes we have Let's do that a few times Measure five, keep your first finger down, move your third finger up to the fourth fret of the G string, play that note, and then take your third finger off, and then we're gonna walk back down. So if you can play up to there, that's that's like half the song right there. If you can go. So that's basically the whole verse part. We're gonna repeat that part. Again, remember we're using that same timing. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. We're using that for measure three, measure four, and measure five. So let's do that again. Let's walk it down from the beginning or the end of measure two. And that's gonna be a half note. And then we're gonna walk it down and play that exact same melody. That's into measure 10, okay? So a couple other little things you could do. You could slide up. This is a great song to add some little basic ornaments too. So I'm kind of sliding into that fourth fret when I walk down. Another one you can do is right here. You could do like a hammer on or a slide. The song has a lot of space, so I think, you know, once you get the basic melody down, take some artistic liberties and, and fill up the space with those little ornaments. So you can go, you know, 
know, so use those little slides and hammer on. Let's do that one more time. a good practice on just pulling some good tone out of your guitar so you get plenty of volume. You know, you want all those half notes to ring out. We need all those to connect those phrases too.